Gay man died and met God. This is what God said to the guy. In the embrace of a Christian upbringing, his earliest memories were filled with a deep belief in God's existence. The church pews cradled him as a child, a safe place where he felt the warmth and holiness of God surrounding his young soul. In his innocent youth, he held a strong conviction that he was a creation of God himself. As life's journey unfolded, he delved deeper into the teachings of Christianity. These teachings became more meaningful with time, but life's challenges soon led him into difficult waters. Here, he began to question his own identity, his essence, and his true self. Over time, a truth emerged within him, not as a sudden flash of insight, but rather like pieces of a puzzle gradually coming together during his teenage years. He was raised in a devout Christian household, which made his journey to self-acceptance all the more challenging. Inside, there was a constant battle of conflicting emotions and beliefs. Initially, he tried to suppress the truth he felt, attempting to reconcile his authentic self with the religious beliefs instilled in him from a young age. However, as he matured, it became increasingly clear that he couldn't ignore the deep and undeniable feelings within him. Slowly but surely, he started coming to terms with a fundamental aspect of his identity, he was gay. The turning point in his journey came when he made the courageous decision to reveal his true self to his family. This revelation sparked intense debates and a whirlwind of complex emotions within their relationship. Throughout these challenging exchanges, his unwavering faith in God acted as a source of hope. In his heart, he held the belief that God symbolized boundless love and acceptance. With that trust, he felt that God's presence would guide him on his path to an uncertain yet promising future. In 2011, a significant shift occurred in his life when his partner succumbed to cancer. The painful journey by his partner's side during the battle with the disease left a lasting mark, plunging him into the depths of grief. Memories brought both tears and bittersweet moments. After his partner's passing, the path forward became uncertain, a maze stretching into an unknown future. Loneliness and helplessness weighed on his spirit, casting his thoughts into darkness. Suddenly, the reality of mortality tightened its grip on his chest, aggravated by pre-existing hypertension. In a sudden rush, he found himself in a bustling hospital room, encircled by a team of diligent medical professionals. The room pulsed with urgency as CPR and a pacemaker engaged in a life-saving ballet, battling fiercely to reignite the fading spark of his heart. This medical dance unfolded over the course of a painstaking half-hour, each second charged with the weight of life and death. When he finally stirred from the depths of unconsciousness, he was met with a profound sense of fragility and an unquenchable thirst. His throat felt parched and raw, and he soon discovered that he was tethered to a mysterious contraption known as a ventilator, a lifeline that breathed for him when his own breath had faltered. However, the true revelation extended far beyond the confines of the hospital room and the medical machinery that surrounded him. In a surprising twist, he shared with the attending nurse a tale that transcended the ordinary bounds of mortal existence, a brief sojourn to the afterlife, where he had a poignant reunion with his departed family. The nurse's face mirrored a mixture of astonishment and intrigue, prompting a cascade of questions that gradually unveiled the intricacies of this enigmatic journey. In this extraordinary and unique experience, his heart had momentarily ceased its rhythmic beat, propelling him into a realm entirely distinct from the physical world. His consciousness embarked on a voyage that defied the limitations of his earthly body, transcending the ordinary boundaries of human existence. The emotions that had filled the hospital room during this critical juncture were tangible, especially the palpable anxiety that emanated from the inexperienced anesthesiologist. In the midst of it all, something remarkable had transpired, an overwhelming yearning to reconnect with a cherished loved one who had departed from this earthly plane. Even though he knew he had passed away, his main focus was on a heartfelt mission to be with his beloved once more. His soul, freed from the physical body, followed a strong yearning and quickly arrived in a place filled with boundless love. In this realm, his perception expanded and he was reunited with his loved one. Although the form of his beloved had transformed into a radiant energy, their connection remained strong. They shared profound conversations without words, their souls deeply connected. This transcendent reality also revealed his beloved's mother, someone he had a strained relationship with on earth. 
misunderstandings had caused her to resent him, believing he influenced her son's homosexuality. Their relationship had caused conflicts when it became public. However, in this otherworldly tapestry, her embrace was warm and welcoming. His emotions became complex as he started to understand her better. Maybe this realm was shining a light on the truth, dispelling misconceptions. Reconciliation happened, and she expressed gratitude for his unwavering support during her son's battle with cancer. But his beloved's words interrupted this ethereal meeting, insisting that his journey wasn't over. Although his heart ached to stay in this realm of love, he had a solemn duty to fulfill. They slowly parted ways, and the intensity of their separation was indescribable, like a fading star merging into the cosmic tapestry. His beloved's words lingered in his consciousness, guiding him to return and complete a mysterious mission. A mystical force directed his return, much like waking up from a fleeting dream. Amid the vast expanse of the cosmos, his ethereal journey merged with the fabric of time and space, bringing him back to the world of the living. He could sense the subtle rhythm of his physical body, the gentle rise and fall of his breath synchronized with the steady beating of his heart. Gradually, he opened his eyes and saw a bright, well-lit hospital room. He lay in a hospital bed, surrounded by busy nurses. Feeling the bed's linens, he realized he had returned to the earthly realm. In a profound experience with the mysteries of mortality, he received valuable insights into the shadow of death and a newfound appreciation for the fragile nature of life. After waking up, the memories were like foggy glass, hard to hold onto. However, one thing remained vivid in his memory, a conversation with an unknown person dressed in pristine white attire with brown hair framing their face. In soft-spoken words, this person emphasized the importance of individual freedom the right to choose one's own path as long as it doesn't harm others. Although parts of their conversation faded away, the wisdom they shared stayed with him. He keeps this experience locked within the vaults of his heart, a treasure he rarely discusses because its ethereal nature often gets lost in skepticism. His family, guided by their beliefs, avoid talking about it. Yet, to him, it's a priceless gift, a mysterious blessing from unseen realms. While he couldn't see God's face, he felt the ineffable essence of divinity surrounding him. In this extraordinary encounter, he realized the vastness of God's love, a love that transcends the details of one's identity or position. It freed him from unnecessary mental burdens, strengthening his faith in the existence of the divine and enhancing his self-acceptance.